All right, so I'm gonna ride the car right now. Everyone's favorite regalia. <laughs> Anybody else excited for the next time our car breaks down? <laughs> really that I am. <laughs> yep, I really am. So I don't know, for those of you who've gone to our booth and played, is, like, gotten no to the car, uh, the know, manual driving, we've actually improved it in the latest build. So as you can see, Hans is driving like a maniac on the other side of the road. So the driving is not on rails, it's pretty uh, free. Uh, you can actually crash into things and there's structural damage that you can do to the car. Um, Hans drives like that in real life, by the way. <laughs> but he doesn't have a license. So. <laughs> yeah, I better not drive. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, and then there's the hazard. Yeah, safe driving. Okay, okay, all right. Uh, why don't we put on a little music? Let's see what's on the. Okay, studio. let's do this. <laughs> oh, right off the bat, uh, I don't know if you guys watched our E3 trailer, uh, but uh, the track that was provided by Afrojack called Braver is in the car stereo, so you could uh, jam to it as we head to our destination. Uh, and but I'm gonna ask uh, Tabby here where we should go. I don't know. 今日はメインルートはみんな自分であのビデオを見たり自分でゲームしたいと思うんで、今日はね、あんまり宣伝で紹介しない秘密のダンジョンに行こうかなと思います。So, uh, you know, when the main game when the game comes out, you guys are going to want to play the story. We don't want to reveal any too much. So, we're going to show you something off the beaten path that you guys may or may not uh, know if you weren't here, so. So, and uh, this is actually a very, very early part of the game, uh, but it's actually a pretty uh, dangerous place that Haz is about to take us to. Haz, yeah. Asuko. Asuko ka. desu ka? Okay, we're going to go to the Baluv Mines. The Baluv Mines, okay. Yes. We're going off road, it seems. Yep. Whenever there's a road, you can drive. And so, this is not main part of the main quest. So, yep, it's gonna get down. Huh? Oh, Kubrick. Hold on. So there's a lot of these uh, side paths that you can take uh. in the car. <laughs> if you actually so, pick up a lot of speed and slam on the brakes, there's a lot of whiplash that your uh, buddies in the back get flown to the front seat. So everyone out there, wear your seatbelts. These guys don't. Don't follow there. their attention. Just like that. Got it. <laughs> The physics in this game are uh, top notch. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna park here because that's in front of hey, mine. Everybody, All right. <sighs> so again, this is not part of the main story. You can you come here anytime. So, I know. Saki no chiten wa game no start chiten da kara mecha mecha chikai toko ni aru desho. Yeah, so when we picked up the car, that was pretty much the beginning of the game. So this is really close to the very uh, beginning of your adventure. But it's probably not a place you want to go in the very beginning. So we'll see how Haas does in there. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're traveling on foot now, making our way up. Yep. Keep your distance or die. <laughs> very clear directions. <laughs> And we're still going in. Those, uh, <laughs> those pipes up there, huh? To the right? Can we go up there? Is it possible? Well, I can try, yeah. So, let's see. No way, no. Yosh. Uh, You're gonna make it? You're gonna make it? Oh, alright. So, <laughs> it's <laughs> I just wanna show off. Okay. So, this is not the way. Haz is trying to uh, eat up time before going into the mines. <laughs> uh, but you could see this vast world. You could go everywhere. Yep, uh, as far as uh, the eye can see. But for now, Haz, turn around. Come on. Okay, alright. Uh, we're really going in now. Huh? We are. Okay. <laughs> yep, you can hear that. You took it all. So, you know, we just showed you the beautiful landscape of this game. And outside, it's beautiful. There's a lot of different various landscapes, but when you go into the dungeon, it gets really different. So there's a stark contrast between the Curiosity outside world Curiosity may bring you to the door, but no further. So that NPC is obviously scared to go in, wow. but we're not going to be scared, be the right, oldest Huss? elevator Uh-huh. <laughs> might still work. Okay, can I, can I just check my level? Uh, okay. Alright. Why are you so nervous, Oz? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. You're checking your this, equipment? You're checking yeah. your equipment? Okay. 
It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very ready for this. Uh, maybe you should go to another dungeon no, or something. No, come on. いいねいいね、That elevator works. Abunai ってことを教えるためのあれだから。All right. Purposely showing something adventurous. Everyone cheer him on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> cheer him on. <laughs> okay, here we go. You can do it. Going down. Are you sure this thing can hold all of us at the same time? All right, here we go. So this is my first time in the side quest on this save file. ここはね、開発メンバーが実際にある廃墟に行ってロケハンをして、そして作ったダンジョンなんだ。So this、uh, Baluf Mines was actually based on a location,、uh, an abandoned minefield or a mine shaft that、What? the development team actually went and surveyed themselves. So it's designed after a real life experience. And Haz actually went there too, so that's maybe why he's hesitant to go in there. Yeah, it's, it was very traumatic <laughs> going to a dark cave, a random one in somewhere in Japan. It was scary. It's very, very deep. This elevator goes down for quite a while. All the way to hell. Yeah. All right. You'd always take it down deeper. Bit of a shot in the What do you guys think? Keep going think? down or good out here? Down? All right. You heard them, Haas. You got to keep going down. All right. <laughs> you guys、going、are all down. very brave, unlike Haas. Because、here. they're not playing. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Don't do it. It's getting、uh, dangerous. Uh, keep going. <laughs> oh boy. I like, I like this crowd, Haas. I like this crowd. This is going to be a very short presentation. <laughs> <laughs> And are we here? No.、Uh, still go. Keep going. All right, all right. right. <laughs> so, I think the next level is probably the lowest level. Okay, here we are. In hell. Yeah, very creepy atmosphere. Not bad. Shudder to think how far underground. So they're walking all cautiously. So. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah, we got some goblins already. How many of you played episode Disguise? All right. You remember how creepy and nasty those goblins were?、Uh, they're worse now. So. What's one thing that's worse about them now, Hus? The goblins? Yeah. Yeah, they actually steal your potions. Ah.、Oh. And they will use the potions if their health is very low. <laughs> so not only are they ugly, they're very mean as well. Well, they they look quite nice actually. They don't look that ugly. I okay. Guess. <laughs> so、uh, they're attractive and really mean. <laughs> Whoa! So they always come out in hordes. So it's、uh, kind of、yeah. annoying.、Okay. So, they actually pack quite a quite a punch. Although they're level seven, but there are a lot of them. Yeah. So it's quite tough. <laughs> So what weapons are you using? So now I'm using the、uh, the two hand sword,、uh -huh. the one hand sword, and also the javelin, as well as some、um, daggers. Yeah. Yoi has no goblin. Ga, すごい強いよね Yeah, these、uh, goblins are only level seven, but you can see how tough they are, right? So,、uh, all right, looks like we have a split path, left or right. Oh, I can't tell. Come on, son. Which one? どっち左か右か左か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か右か <laughs> wow! <laughs> These little guys sure pack a punch. So, what's effective against them? Like, you know, quicker weapons or? Well, we can actually. Let's see. For example, you can actually. I think using quicker weapons will be easier.、Mm -hmm. Because if I were to use this weapon, like the two-hand sword, then it will take a long time to execute any attacks. Right. But it、mm. is very powerful if you do land the attack. Yeah. Exactly. So. Ah, this is a very powerful weapon. <laughs> yeah, you got a pretty good weapon there, huh? Yeah, it's a fire,、um, you know, enhanced blade of Brunner. Okay. Yep. So I have to get ready for this dungeon. 
We okay. shouldn't have told you ahead of time where we're going. All right, let's see. We got here gold ore. Okay. Mm. Let's just move right. on. Now you're running. So yeah, you can actually see that there are various um, geographical features in the cave itself, and also obviously man-made structures as well. So the the, uh, the, the uh, abandoned site you went to does it look like this a lot? Yeah. yeah. Is it pretty close? Well, yeah. There there were some um, you know lakes within the cave as well. So. Wait yeah. a minute, El elixir? Yep. In the beginning of the game. Uh huh. So <laughs> <laughs> that kind of shows you how uh, dangerous this place is, maybe. Yes. Okay. Hey, it's your guys' fault. You guys' fault. Okay. You're um, here to show us a good time, Haz. <laughs> All right, I'll try my best. Oh, so many of them. So if it steals a potion from you, yep. uh, does, does, do they usually use it right away or can you get it back from them if you defeat them? Well, if they haven't used it yet because maybe they are full health, mm. then you can get it. I see, I see. Since when did they but run? even if you defeat them a bit of their HP, that's it. They're going to use They're their potion. Use yeah. Okay. They are that evil. So we have some ice elementals we can store, all right? Yep, mm. we can use this to Beautiful make magic. Power. You've definitely prepared a little bit. You're full on ice now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <All right. laughs> I have to. Uh, and there's a cutie over there that just shut the door on you, Huz. Yeah, this is what you were saying, right? They were just evil buggers. They are. Closing doors on you. And it's locked. <laughs> okay, so why don't we go back up to B1 and make our way down? Right. We don't know what other doors they might close on us. Mm. Okay. We'll go the other way. Again, you know, different ge geological features in the level itself. Oh no, out of stamina. <laughs> wow! <laughs> so they like to hide in mining cars as well. Yep, okay. exactly. This is not a horror game, right? Mm, no. <laughs> Alright. It can be called a horror action oh, game. Oh, there we go with the potion. Oh man. <laughs> so evil. Nice parry. There, for taking my potion. <laughs> A plus for offense, let's ignore the C and D. <laughs> yeah, so uh, the goblins in this dungeon, they kind of hide in mining carts and pop out at you, and uh, they're just tricksters. Very, very annoying guys. Slightly cute, I guess. <laughs> if you have Annoying. Haas's taste, then yes, <laughs> Friendship fans, an accessory? Yeah, that's All an right. accessory. Done here. Alright, so we're going back up? Is Let's it? take the ride back to B1 and make okay. our way down. Alright. So, Tabata-san, uh, I mean Tabby. <laughs> um, how, what, how, do we, how do you design this cave? What, what was the inspiration? This yeah. inspiration. Mm. そのさっきも言ったようにあのね、15の世界はその地上と地下で全然違う世界にしようっていうのコンセプトで、あの地上はすごくスケールの大きい世界なんだけど、地下は本当ジメジメして暗くて狭くてどこまでも続くいやな世
I have trauma again. And there's another one. Oh, good job. Dodge Whenever it. I see a minecart. No one no. was on it though. No, yeah. Right. This one should be okay, so I'll just walk past sure it. You sure about it? Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. You still think they're cute? <laughs> no, maybe not. <laughs> I'm angry now. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, the development team had a fun time designing dungeons that are gonna give you guys like, a good time. Alright, so there's, there's a lot of uh, goblins around here. So why don't we do his little magic spell? Alright. Hold on, yeah? I'm very busy at the moment. <laughs> Maybe when there's next board, we'll uh. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So let's get some fire and yep. uh, make a little. Show us a little magic crafting 101. Okay, so just access the main menu and you will see this um, menu called magic. So here you can actually mix and match the various elements that you have collected in the world map. So for example, you have fire, ice, and lightning. Um, what kind of magic should I Which element should we use, guys? Lightning! mix. Why don't we make a hybrid? Mix, please. Hybrid, please. Hmm. All right. Fire. Fire and ice? Hito, hito. Yeah. All right, fire and lightning. All right. <laughs> So even if you mix fire and lightning, you can you will still get Fira mm -hmm. down there. So what you have to do is you have to mix um, items as well. The cool thing is you can actually mix items and you can actually see the result at the bottom. So if I were to mix potion, I will create heal cast, which will cast fire on top of healing myself. So it's really, really cool. And there are many, many um, you know, combinations to try. So... Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I will try Quadcast, Farah, and Thundera. So, okay, I can't even wrap my head around what that's going to be. What is that? So Quadcast means that it will cast it four times. In one, in in one, one go. go. Okay. Sorry, in one go. Three. And times three means um, you have three charges of the magic. And so it casts can. both Fire and Thundara. Yes, that's right. That is insane, guys. So, okay, so I'm going to combine that with Beetle Shell and Craft. And then it will uh, ask me whether I want to equip it or just store it in my inventory. So I will equip it right now. I will just um, equip, uh, unequip the daggers and put in Quadcast right. Fire Tundra. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see when we need it. Yeah? <laughs> now you're feeling all strong, huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel better now. You don't need to go to Yeah, so let's. Maybe there's a. Slightly wider open area in yep. here with we'll a lot see. of goblins. So. Yeah, when you use uh, especially the, the raw spells in closed spaces, you actually do inflict damage on yourself because there's an area effect. So it's safer to use it in a wide open area, but we'll see what we can get. Wow, I'm dying. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? You tell me. <laughs> okay, looking good, looking good. All right. A plus for offense again. Let's ignore the Ds. Hey, A plus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just move on. Uh, railroads. Not a good sign. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 oh. Creeped up on you. Bam. Good carrying. Carrying takes a little bit of practice to get down yeah. the timing, right? And it's much harder to time it well when you are using a, a big weapon, like the two-hand sword, because mm. the pairing timing might be different <laughs> while you're attacking. Yeah, let me just go through this really quick. Alright. Alright. Better than good. Good to go. Improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Double C everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, of <laughs> I knew it. <clears throat> Just one lonely goblin, huh? Yep. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let me go back in. No, I'm not a coward. I'm not a coward. Okay. Four guys beating up on one poor goblin. Let's see. Oh, I'm back to double D again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Looks like we're in a slightly different looking area. That's weird. The hell? Uh, wait, is there? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's, I'm not getting good vibes from him, Huz. Yeah, I'm not liking it either. Um, are we going forward or what? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. All right. Okay. Oh man. Okay. I'm okay. ready. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> and a goblin card. I see. That was that came out of nowhere. Oh, where do you go? Oh. Oh my God. My HP. My HP. Heal. Heal. <laughs> my HP. Oh God. And oh God. Heal. One shot to that. Oh. <laughs> my home. My home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So that guy just one shot you down to the third floor. Magic. Exactly. Magic. Magic. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Uh. <laughs> so aside from magic, what else is uh, useful against these goblins? Okay, let's call um, Tempest from Gladius. Okay. So Gladio's Tempest move, what it does is it creates a whirlwind. Yep. So it sucks a lot of these scattered enemies into one pile and then just attacks them all at once. So. It's useful in cases like this, where you have a wide open field and a lot of enemies just scattered about. Yeah. And I can even use um, Ignis's mark. Okay. So he will mark all these goblins with warp points. And Noctis is just gonna move to all of them. Yep. That is and awesome! Mark, that is awesome! <laughs> And each of your allies have multiple of those special yeah. abilities, so uh, there's different uses for different situations. Um, you guys will have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> yeah. And uh, don't don't misunderstand. That wasn't Haz playing well. That was just the move that is awesome. So it's not Haz. You guys will all play like that. So whether Haz is uh, good at this game or not will be the judge of it based on uh, the upcoming battle. Oh. Yeah, that <laughs> nope. dude that knocked us down, he's still around. Oh, stop the pressure. <laughs> <coughs> still have a ways to go. Yeah. All right. You can see a ladder over there, so I think we can go down from here. We are. B3 now. So we're on B3, so I guess we just have to make one more floor down. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but of course, <laughs> we gotta fight some goblins. Okay. Let's use a spell. Use your uh, fire and Thundara. Okay, sure. Here we go. Okay, okay. Okay, Gladio's getting electrocuted right there, and so is you knock this, and so <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> So, watch out where you use your magic spells. <laughs> it is real. Yeah, magic is very effective but also very dangerous if you don't use it in the right place. So. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Notice all the clothes are a little uh, ashy and burnt because of all the uh, <laughs> electrocution. Yep. Thanks to me. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's make our way down. Okay. Let's go down. Mm. Yeah. So uh, probably something lurking up ahead, right? Yep. And I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Be brave, Hans. We could do it. Okay. So let's open this door. And that was the door that was closed ah, upon me just now. Yep. I see. So let's just move forward. All right. All right. And yeah. Oh, I, I don't see like the it. long oh. katana. What do you that probably this means he, oh, he's it's just marching bad. around right there. There's he's level 38, sword. man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's only 38. Come on, you could do it. Tavi, Tavi, come on. Yeah. Oh god, really? Ah, ita? Dekiru, dekiru. Ah, you can do it, Haz. He says you can do it. In what, in what world? You've practiced, right? You had enough time to practice. You okay, let's go attack the guy. 
Me and Joe. Me and Joe. Alright. Where is he now? There he is. He where, is he? where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. You can there do it. Is. Nah. Yeah. Take him on, Haas. Take him on. You can do it. Stupid goblins. Yeah, the goblins won't leave you alone either. Oh no! <laughs> Ooh. Stasis. So if Stasis. you use too much MP. Oh, oh man. Ignis. No. He just one shot at Ignis. Do you have any uh, ethers? Oh, Stasis again. Ooh, one shot. Oh man. Oh, crap. You need health. Oh crap! Oh, oh wow. man, he just. <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yep. yeah. sorry, Haz. But that is how dangerous this dungeon is. But you can go to it at the very beginning of the game. So those of you out there who want to challenge yourselves, go ahead and try. Otherwise, just maybe go back later. Uh, unlike Haz here. Yep, I was stupid, but brave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Haz. Everyone, give it up for Haz. <laughs>